What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body kettlebell workout. While today's workout is designed to use just one kettlebell, if you don't have access to a kettlebell, you can certainly use one dumbbell. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's pump it up. All right, getting started today with the warm up, we're gonna do an upright external rotation plus high knee. So elbows are bent at a 90 degree angle and we're gonna bring up opposite side knee. We're pulling back on those hands, keeping that upper arm parallel to the floor and breathing. This is a little compound move here, warming up your shoulders and your legs at the same time. This one specifically is great for those rotator cuffs. And then as we're going through this one, you should be able to get those hands back a little further every time as you're loosening up those shoulders. And we're not gonna count any reps today in the warm up or in the workout, just moving at your own pace. And this is just the warm up here, so don't go too crazy. Purpose of this warm up is to get your heart rate up a little bit at the same time, gaining some added mobility and increasing your overall body temperature. Making sure to breathe here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, moving into a straight leg kick plus twist. Feet are shoulder width apart, arms are out straight by our side. We're gonna alternate sides, twisting, bringing up straight leg. This one's gonna hit your hamstrings, your glutes, thoracic spine, shoulders, chest. Again, another compound move here. And if you're not quite there with being able to kick your hands like we are, then that's completely okay if you just do the best that you can. Yeah, kick, get your... Kick as much and as high as you can. That's it. Or if you feel more comfortable in doing so, you can also just bring up your knee. Again, we're gonna encourage you throughout today's routine to just make it your own. Again, focus on keeping your balance on this one as well. We like these compound moves in the warm up, getting as much in as a short a period of time as possible. And you'll see well, we're not perfect here either. We'll stumble here and there. It's not about being perfect, just about putting in that work and getting a little better every time. Let's do this one for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Zero, let those shoulders relax for a minute. We're gonna move to the floor and do a bird dog. So we're coming onto all fours, our hands and our knees. And now let's take our right hand to our left knee and then bring our right hand up as we kick back with that left foot squeezing our glute at the top. Bring that hand back down to your knee and repeat. Keeping your back straight. On this one, you're not lifting your heel up to the ceiling, but instead you're kicking it straight back as if you were trying to kick a hole in the wall behind you. So you definitely wanna keep your hips in line with one another. Of course, if you try to bring your leg up too high, you can feel a twist. Keep everything nice and neutral. That's it, we're warming up that posterior chain on this one. Squeeze in your upper back as you bring that arm up, as well as your glutes and hamstrings. Getting that posterior chain loosened up, ready to go for that work ahead. Inhale as you bring your knee and fist together. And exhale as you kick out and bring your fist up. We're switching sides in three, two, one. Same move, but let's go left hand to right knee and repeat. Again, not a race on this one, but really control the movements. Focus on feeling that upper back as well as your glutes contract on every repetition. Driving back with that heel, trying to make a straight line from your hand down to your foot. Keep your head in line with your spine as well. 
So we're not looking up on this one, but instead keeping that head in line with your spine. Focus on contracting that upper back as well as your glutes. Excellent, not much left on this one. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, come on up onto your feet. Warm up is complete. Ready to get this started, Claudia? I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's grab your one kettlebell or dumbbell if that's what you choose to use today. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart and I'm gonna do a kettlebell snatch from the floor. And I'm going to do a high pull from the floor. So we're gonna sit back, weight in our hips, drop that kettlebell in between our legs, pulling up high on the elbow and I'm gonna flip that kettlebell overhead. And I'm just going to be pulling back on my elbows using all the force from my hips. You decide which variation is appropriate for you if you wanna do the full snatch and flip it up over or if you just wanna pull up on that elbow. We're gonna do uh, equal time on each side. Again, not counting any repetitions. So it's all about getting in as many as you can in a lot of time period. So I'm basically doing the exact same thing that Coach Kozak is doing, except I'm not flipping it over to a snatch. Exactly. And if you are doing the full snatch, you shouldn't be flipping that kettlebell over while it's landing on your wrist, but instead bringing it to the side and punching through. Making sure to breathe. Do not hold your breath on this one. We're gonna switch sides in 10 seconds. Keep it up, let's go, let's go. Weight back in those hips every time for three, two, one, zero. Switch hands right back into it. No downtime. Good. Using that power from your hips, from your legs to explode that kettlebell straight up. And again, not about being perfect, just about putting in the work, getting a little bit better every time. Breathing throughout, whatever you do, do not hold your breath. And as you're squatting down, make sure you do not allow those legs or those knees to collapse inward, but instead keeping those knees out and weight in your hips throughout. Excellent, come on. Keep it up, Paz Fit Tribe. Let's go. Last five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, taking that one kettlebell with us to the floor, we're gonna get into a kneeling position. We're gonna do a kneeling clean plus rotational press. So from this kneeling position, I'm gonna drive my hips forward, perform a clean. Again, that kettlebell comes to the side, and now we're gonna rotate and press straight overhead and repeat or return back. So clean, rotate and press. Back down, kettlebell back down, repeat. Breathe throughout. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath. So you're gonna exhale during the clean, as well as exhale as you drive that kettlebell straight up overhead. Good point, always trying to exhale on the hardest part of the move. Keep that core engaged, core stays tight, one into the next. And as you press that kettlebell straight up overhead, trying your best to get that bicep by your ears. Good. And just like we did on the snatch, we're not flipping that kettlebell straight over, but instead we're punching through and bringing the kettlebell to the side. And we're switching sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Same move, switch it up. Opposite side now. Again, no downtime. Drive those hips forward. Press. Good. You got it, Trad. And as this workout continues and starts to get tougher, it's gonna be so important that you focus on what it is that brought you here today to begin with. What's your why? What's your purpose? We're trying to get more fit, trying to lose some weight, gain some muscle, whatever it is, staying focused on that. Good. One rep right into the next, recognizing every rep is gonna get you just that much closer to your goals. Let's go, Tribe, keep it up. Almost there, almost there. Keep it grinding, keep it moving. Last five, four, 
three, two, one, zero. Ooh, All right, let's take awesome that move. One. Let's take that one kettlebell up onto our feet. We're gonna put that kettlebell into a catcher's grip. We're gonna do a halo plus squat. Kettlebell comes up and around our head, and then we're gonna perform a goblet squat. Weight back on our hips. Come up, opposite side now, from a halo, and back into the squat. Alternating each time which direction you go with your halo. <laughs> Hoping I can remember which side I did. You're right, which only gets harder as the oxygen gets a little harder <laughs> to come by. <laughs> Again, not about being perfect, it's just about putting in the work and getting a little better every time. That's right. Come on, Tribe, where you at? Never said it'd be easy. Woo, this is a brain workout too, apparently. Here we go. But it will be worth it. One right into the next. This one's hitting your shoulders as well as your core and your legs, hamstrings, quads, and glutes, all working together. Come on, keep it up, guys. Let's go. Let's go, Tribe. I want you to inhale as you come down and squat. Exhale on the way up. That's it. Focus on that breathing. Don't allow yourself to hold your breath. Last 10 seconds. What do you got, Tribe? Keep it going. Keep it going. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. All right, I'm going to increase my weight a little bit for this next one, but feel free to keep the weight the same for you if that's what you choose to do. We're going to do a single rep swing plus either a ballistic push up or a traditional push up. Yep. So, starting with our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, we're going to start with two hands on that kettlebell. We're going to hike that kettlebell between our legs, hips forward, kettlebell swing, and then set that kettlebell down out in front of you. Both hands on the ground, and then we're either going to jump back or step back. And I'm going to perform a one ballistic push up. And I'm going to perform a single push up. Now I'm jumping back up, stepping. And then again, grab that kettlebell, hike between your legs, repeat, one swing, kettlebell down, and repeat. Getting in as many as you can, and you choose which variation is most appropriate for you. Neither one are easy. We got hard and harder here for you. Make sure you keep that back straight on the swing. Don't allow it to round. Abs stay tight on that push-up. Back is straight on the push-up as well. Try to set that kettlebell out nice and far in front of you so you're not hitting your head on it. Again, one swing at a time, hips back, hips forward, squeezing those glutes up at the top on that swing. This one is gonna get your heart rate up quick, fast, and in a hurry. That is by design, total body workout today, getting as much work in as we can in this short amount of time. You got a tribe. Focusing on what motivates you. Focusing on what brought you here today to begin with. One rep into the next. You got it. Grind it out here. Last 10 seconds. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay. For the next one, we're going to do our crush grip curl. I'm lowering my weight again for this one. I'm going to allow our heart rate to come down a little bit with this one. Shoulders are back. Grabbing that kettlebell on each side, squeezing <sighs> it. Elbows stay in. Full range of motion. Curl. So this forces us to not only curl, but also squeeze that kettlebell or crush that kettlebell together. Full range of motion. I know our heart rates are Awfully high from that last one. Trying your best to only bend at those elbows. Shoulders stay back. All the way up. All the way down. Controlling that kettlebell. Not only on the way up, but also as you lower it. Don't just allow it to flop back down. So we're going to inhale as we lower our kettlebell. And exhale as you curl it back up. That's it. Exhaling on that hardest part of the move. Full range of motion. Feeling those biceps Ooh. as well as your forearms working. As well as everything else that we've just worked. <laughs> exactly. It's all burning. Burn so good. 
Come on. Never said it'd be easy, but That's it right. will be worth it. Let's go try it. If you are used to working out with us, you know it is all about efficiency. That's it. Getting as much work in in as short a period of time as That's possible. That's right. It's all about compound moves here. Last 10 seconds. Let's How go. How many can you get? Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go try. Push it. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Ooh, nice. All right, speaking of compound moves, we're gonna do either a reverse lunge plus Sven press. Or a split squat plus the Sven press. All right, so let's grab that kettlebell with a catcher's grip. I'm start starting with my feet shoulder width apart. And I'm in a staggered split stance position. Both of us are gonna drop that back knee down to a 90 degree angle as we press straight up and return. I should say press straight out with their arms parallel to the floor. So now would be a good time to reduce the weight if you didn't already. That's it. You're finding out this one is, whoo, It is burn for out real. those shoulders. Working your chest, shoulders, quads, hamstrings, glutes, all working together on this one. Trying your best to keep that upper body straight up and down. And again, not holding our breath. Pushing those arms out to parallel. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out, exhaling on the hardest part as we stand back up. Almost there, Tribe. Keep pushing through. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, same move, switch legs, and keep on grinding. Come on, there it is. Woo go to your happy place. It's all about that discipline. That's right. Doing what others won't do so you can have what others won't have. When it gets tough, put that goal right at the front of your mind. That's it, focus on focus it. Focus on that. What are you here for? Come on, keep it up, keep it up. It's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. That's right. And that's what we're doing right here, right now. Come on, Tribe. You can tell this is kicking my butt too. I'm right there with you. Whew. Almost there, almost there. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Keep grinding out. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Make a count, Tribe. Make a count. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're hitting the floor for the next one. Moving on to our backs. We're gonna do an ISO pull up, or sorry, ISO hip up plus pullover. So again, grabbing that kettlebell with a catcher's grip. Let's go ahead and bring our hips up off the floor, driving off our heels, squeezing our glutes. Now bring those arms straight up, maintaining that isometric position with our legs. And we're pulling that kettlebell all the way over, all the way back. Feel those lats engage. Stay nice and under control. Don't bounce that kettlebell off the floor, but instead stay under control. Inhale as you bring your kettlebell down and exhale as you bring it right back up over your head. Keep squeezing those glutes. Don't allow your butt to sink and don't hyperextend your back. Driving off your heels, keeping your heels nice and close to your glutes on this one. You don't wanna have your feet too far out in front of you. Woo. And you should definitely feel a bit of a booty burn with that. That's it, working your hamstrings, your glutes, your core, your lats, as well as your chest. Again, hitting multiple body parts with just this one move. Don't allow yourself to bounce that kettlebell off the floor. Nice and under control on the way down as well as the way up. That's it, right here. Come on, Tribe. Let's go, let's push through. You got it. Doing what, this together. What made you hit that play button today? What is it? What are you working towards? Staying focused on it with every repetition. Don't let go of it. That's it. Recognizing you're getting just that much closer to your goals with every rep. Not much left on this one. Let's go last 10 seconds. Where are you at, Hatsfit Tribe? We're right there with you. Anything for 10 seconds. Let's do it. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent work. 
We're gonna finish strong with a close grip push-up. Set that kettlebell on its side. We're gonna have two hands on that one kettlebell. I'm gonna come up onto my feet. And I am on my knees. And I'm gonna keep my elbows in as I come down, form a full range of motion push-up, and then back up. Inhale down. Exhale as you push yourself back up out of that push-up. This is a tough move, even from your knees. Definitely. Keep those elbows in, working your triceps, chest, shoulders, core, all working together. If at any point you feel like it's too difficult, then you can do one hand on one kettlebell and bust those push-ups out. Make sure that you perform equal time on each side. Most important thing is just to make this workout work for you. Focusing on what brought you here today to begin with. Don't wish for it, work for it. Don't dream about it, be about it. Figure out what you gotta do to get to where you wanna go. And day after day, do at least one thing to get yourself there. And that's what you're doing right here, come on. Finish strong, tribe. We're almost there. Come on, let's go. Last 10 seconds. Grind it out with us. Let's go, let's go. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. <sighs> you made it. Nice work, tribe. We're gonna move into a cool down next. Whew, giving ourselves a second to allow our heart rates to come down. We're gonna get a little added flexibility work in at the same time. Catching our breath here too. All right, we're gonna do a one leg hip hinge to start, feet or shoulder width apart. Let's put that one leg out straight on your heel, keeping that right leg straight. We're bending over, hinging at our hips, keeping our back straight, stretching that hamstring in the lead leg. Again, keep those shoulders square, head in line with your spine. Big, deep breaths. Stretching out the back side of that leg as well as your glute. Nice, big, deep breaths. Focusing on bringing that heart rate down on this one. And pull back on those toes as well. Get a little calf stretch in at the same time. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Stand up nice and slowly. Let's switch sides. Same move. Get that opposite leg out in front and then bend over, hinging at our hips, pulling back on those toes, keeping that leg straight, back stays straight. And again, nice big deep breaths here. Really did a lot of posterior chain work today. So it's a great one to help that backside recover. Again, nice big deep breaths for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up nice and slow. We're moving into a lying side quad stretch, coming down onto our sides for this one. Lying down on our left side, that arm out to our side. Let's reach back, grab our foot, and try our best to pull that foot to our glutes, stretching that quadricep. And as Claudia has pointed out before, added benefit to this one is you get to lie down and rest after the workout. <laughs> Just don't fall asleep on us. And if you need to on this one, you can use a towel or a band to, to help grab your foot if you can't quite reach it. Try to keep that knee into your side. Don't let it flare out because then all of a sudden you're not gonna be stretching out that quadricep anymore. Again, nice big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Okay, let's turn over, switch sides. Same move, but let's just hit that opposite side leg. Again, lower body, got a lot of work in today. It's important that we put as much time into recovery and our mobility, flexibility work as we do in the actual work. Nice, big, deep breaths here. Failing that heart rate, start to come down. And 
don't be alarmed if one side's a little tighter than the other. That is totally normal. I always find my left quad's a little tighter than my right. And let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, relax that leg. Excellent. Okay. Next, we're going to transition into a floor angel. So lying down on our backs, we're going to get those shoulders stretched out on this next one. Let's bring those arms straight up overhead relaxing those arms and then we're going to pull down on those elbows as we keep our whole upper arm and hands flat on the ground the best that we can which gets hard to do oh and then go ahead and extend those arms straight up overhead again as we're trying our best to keep our upper arm hands and forearms in contact with the floor also try to keep your upper and lower back in contact with the floor at the same time oh yeah this one always ends up giving you stretches and feels and parts of your upper back and shoulders you didn't even know existed. Again, those shoulders got a lot of work in today, so this is a good one to help them recover. Nice big deep breaths as you pull those elbows down, tight into your sides, and then extend the arms straight up. And yours may look prettier than ours, or it may look not quite as prettier as ours, and that's okay. Just keep putting in the work and you'll get a little bit better. Trying your best to get to that ideal stage where both your hands and your elbows are on the floor, understanding that they may come up. But every time you come back and repeat this, you'll get just a little bit better at it. Excellent, full range of motion here. This is a good one to kind of counteract some of the uh, modern ailments with our posture from driving to sitting at a desk to staring down at our phones. Yep. So many different things working against our posture every day. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, let's go one last one. We're going to turn over, do a little yoga inspired move next we're going to transition from a cobra to a child's pose let's go ahead and have those fingers pointed forward coming up in a prone position let's bring that chest up shoulders back squeeze those glutes forming a cobra chest up nice big deep breaths and now let's sit back pull back on those hips as we relax your shoulders and sit back into a child's pose, relax those shoulders, sitting down onto our heels. This one's great for our, our overall spine, shoulders, posterior chain, quads, all getting a good stretch on this one. Let's come forward one more time into that cobra. Coming forward nice and slow. Squeeze those glutes up at the top, retract those shoulders. Nice, big, deep breaths. And let's sit back one last time into that child's pose. Nice and relaxed here. Couple big, deep breaths. And this is that time in the workout I like to remind you to just give yourself some credit for showing up and putting in the work today. You know, we're so hard on ourselves, trying to be perfect, trying to keep up. I think it's important every once in a while that we give ourselves a pat on the back and say, hey, you put in the work today, you were disciplined, you may not have felt up to it, but that didn't matter, you still showed up and you got it done. So there's something to be said for that. You should be proud of yourself for doing so. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up nice and slow. And that oh. is it, my friends. You it's made it. Claudia, you made it. Nice work. You made it, Tribe. Nice work out there. Thank you so much for showing up and working out with us today. We literally could not do this without you. Please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free by stopping by uh, our app store and downloading our free app. It's available for both iOS and Android. You can also stop by our store, pick up a shirt, 
or our diet guide, Eating for Life. And we know that you enjoyed this workout with us today, so we ask that you please give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. You know, it may be hard to believe, but this shirt was like a light colored gray <laughs> at the beginning of this workout. So I think I'm going to go hit the shower. Yeah. Thank you so Good much idea. for joining us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.